Hello friends, welcome to Chemistry Nuggets where you can polish your knowledge and clear your doubts. So friends, in today's video, I will tell you how to calculate the oxidation number of lead in PB3O4. So let's have a look on the video. PB3O4, it's commonly known as lead tetroxide or we can say lead 2,4 oxide. When we are talking about uh, to tell the oxidation number of lead in lead tetroxide, we need to understand that this is an exceptional case. Remember this point and always we need to remember the structure of this compound so that we can calculate. So first we will draw the structure. There are 3 lead and 4 oxygen. So the structure will be like Pb, 3 Pb first we write and there are 4 oxygen which are added to lead. This will be our structure. Now from this structure we will calculate the oxidation number of lead because there are 3 lead. So we will work on each and every lead to get their oxidation number. So the concept behind is if one more atom is more electronegative than other atom in the bond, the more electronegative atom will attract all the electrons and become negative charge. That will be its oxidation number. Like uh, if we have A and B attached with a bond and B is more electronegative then B will take the electron pair towards itself and become minus charge in turn A will acquire plus charge this minus charge on B is called as its oxidation number minus 1 and for A the oxidation number will be plus 1 this only concept we will take to count the oxidation state here now in between lead and oxygen, oxygen will be more electronegative. Oxygen is more electronegative than lead. So oxygen will take the electron pairs. Suppose we will number this lead is number 1, this lead is number 2 and this lead is number 3. So on lead number 1, this bond oxygen will take the electron pair and become minus 1. Now in turn lead will become plus 1. From this bond oxygen will take minus 1 and lead will in turn become plus 1. So we will say on this lead number 1 we have oxidation number of plus 1 and plus 1 plus 2 oxidation state because we are adding this 2. Now come up to the lead number 2. We have 4 bonds with oxygen. It means every time minus 1 here, minus 1 here, minus 1 here and minus 1 here. So it will acquire 1, 2, 3, 4 plus 4 charge. So we can say directly plus 4 this lead is having charge. In lead number 3 again 2 bonds are there so minus 1 and minus 1 and lead in turn will become plus 2. So we can say number 1 lead is having oxidation state plus 2. Second lead is having oxidation number plus 4 and the third lead is having again plus 2 and this is our answer the oxidation state of the lead in lead tetroxide is plus 2 plus 4 plus 2. So remember this exceptional case so many times this question is asked so don't forget to draw the structure if you draw the correct structure you will get the correct answer till then keep studying thank you.